The average American doesn't understand the difference between average return and real return. And that's what we're taught. We're typically taught average return. So let's use an example. If you have a million dollars and you're invested in the S&P 500, and let's say the S&P 500 is down 50% in one year, your $1 million just turned into 500,000. Next year, you get a 50% return in the S&P 500. So think about that, you're down 50% year one, you're positive 50% year two. Your average return is zero, but your real return is negative 25%. Think about that. You were at a million, S&P dropped to 500,000, S&P goes up 50%, but you're growing 50% on $500,000. You started with a million, you're now at 750,000, your average return was zero, but your real return was negative 25%. When you're talking in terms of dollars, real return matters.